Chris, I will introduce you a little bit. Um, I run a small company. Uh, we basically do consulting. And uh, in this company, I'm a TopTal partner. I own, I'm also a TopTaler. Uh, I freelancer and then I a company. So uh, the, the, the obvious move was to uh, talk to them. I'm, I made a TopTal partner. And I also am Google Academy partner. So I'm a trainer for Google. Um, I'm, as he said, I'm a, an Angular GD. And I'm the creator of the Angular, which is um, probably the, the, the only video player that you can find right now in Angular. And uh, probably the, the, the library with the worst name ever. Uh, actually, it's that bad that um, I literally have an issue the, to rename the Angular. And uh, the, the thread is pretty good. Because this guy says, hey, this is, this is confusing. So he's, Oops. hello, yeah. And, and then uh, a lot of people say it's video angular. And then uh, for angular video, video angular sucks. Uh, and paradigm shift, angular beat, video angular is simple, cool. And then this guy just nail it. And he said, video angular is literally the best name plugin I've ever heard. It sounds like an expression from the 80s to describe how cool and technology advanced something is. I don't use even video art. I just keep it in my repo to remind me how great the name is. So when I saw this, okay, that, that's it. I'm closing the issue. This guy just nailed it. He is completely right with his statement. And that's it. So, um, okay, why video art? Um, video art. Uh, I started this thing like uh, four years ago in Angular 1. And uh, the thing is that uh, I, my, my background is working in video apps, in interactive video apps for, for a long time. And, and uh, I saw the all video players in the market, and they, are, they, re they were really good uh, playing videos. Just, I you can see a video. It works on all the browsers. That's it. But if you want some some complex stuff, uh, it was hard. So for me, video is more a media framework than than than, than not a, a video player. It's, it it goes beyond, I think. And you can create your media player in a declarative way. That means that you can just. Um, uh, write some tags and attributes and all the stuff, and create your video player. And that's that's really that's really um, easy if you are working with um, long teams, right? Uh, where where you have designers and uh, JavaScript developers and so on. And we have an extensible. It is extensible via an intermediate API. This API allows you to and. You can play, uh, is it okay, the audio? It is not, right? Okay, I'm going to switch it off. Okay, here we go. Better? Sorry about it. So, uh, it is extensible via an intermediate API, as I said. And uh, with this API, you basically can play anything that has a beginning and end. I know that this sounds weird, but you will see in the, in the demo that it actually allows you to play anything. And by anything, I mean literally anything that you, that, that you can even imagine. It just has, it has, it has to need, it, it just, just needs to have a begin and an end in a, in a lapse of time. So, some stats about the video uh, Six modules, we have 17 components, four directives, and six services. It is, well, it is quite big right now, but we, we are going to add more and more components and more modules. Uh, by the way, everybody, it's uh, all, uh, more than welcome to, to join us and submit your pull request. We have, it is very easy to create a pull request. And uh, the, the, we have a, um, 
a good CI process and to make releases is it's really easy. So if you want just to make pull requests, probably it's just merge and the new, the new version is pushed to, to NPM and that's it. So how it works? Okay, so first we have the component BG player. BG player is a component and in, inside that component you will put other components like for example BG media that will be attached to, to the video tag and VG play pause that will allow you to play and pause a video and you have other components. We will see all the components later. And then this, uh, the, uh, the, the video player will create uh, the API and when you click on the play button, instead of calling the play method on, on VG media, you will call to the API and the API will make the call to the VG media. This is important because it allows us to, to do some crazy stuff that you will see later. Uh, like for example, we can have two or three videos on the same player and play all of them at the same time. So for example, we, we have this, this is a basic video player where we have um, just the player and a play post and then we have the video. This is the VG media, which is an attribute that you, a, a, a directive that you attach to, to the video component, to the video element, and then, and that's it. If you do this thing, uh, that is it, you, you can yes, just have your video player ready to, ready to use. And this is uh, a more advanced with more components uh, example. What we have, this is from other module, that is the overplay button that it, uh, it's over the, the other components, that big play button. And we have controls, like for example, play pause, but we have also the time display, and we want to display the current time or the left time. And we have the script bar, and the script bar we, have, we can put the current time or the buffering time. So it is really easy for you to customize your player um, in a declarative way. Um, so right now we are going to create this super simple player. I have here um, the demo, and is, this, is it big enough? Yeah. Okay. So I've added the core module and the controls module, uh, which basically the core module will uh, give us access to to the media, the VG media and the API and so on, and the controls model will give, will, uh, give, you, uh, give us access to, to the controls, all the controls, play pause, the screw bar, the full screen button, and so on. So uh, I can start writing here, so let's do it. So first thing, I need to put the player, and then I can just create my controls. And inside my controls, I'm going to create the play pause, and screw bar, and instead the screw bar, I want to put the current time, and also I want to put the full screen button, and then here I will put a video, and I'm going to, I need to, uh, to create a video reference, so I'm going to say here video reference, uh, and then I will, the VG media expect a video reference. And now I can just put a source, like for example, the demo file that we have. Uh, 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 and we can, we, we need to add this ID where we, we can just put uh, uh, a name to it. We will see why we need these things later, but this is because we, we can actually, as I say, we can actually have several VG medias inside the same player. And, and if we have several controls, we, we can actually uh, uh, point to which VG media we want to interact. So if I execute this thing, <clears throat> Okay, here we go. So we have a video player. 
Okay, we can just seek around and so on. We can, we can, we can obviously add um, uh, other other components here. But for example, we can add the, the the buffering time. And if you just click, you will see that there is the buffering time and so on. So, okay, that, 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 but that was you know this is the common case scenario just to. To, to have a video. Whoops, what happened here? Yeah. So let's make things a little bit harder. First, let's understand how VG Media works. So VG Media is a wrapper over the HTML5 audio video element. Um, you can use it with your video audio element tags, or you can create a component that behaves like a video element and attach a VG Media to it. So this allows us to create our own playable components. Uh, for example, in this case, this is the, the, the example that I wrote. But we can actually change the video and attach our, our component there. And, it, and the good thing about this is that all the controls and so on are going to work in the same way. So we can reuse this thing uh, for, to do a lot of stuff. Um, so let's, he, let's see how it works. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new component with the CLI. Uh, yeah. Now I can open up this time viewer. So what we are going to do, it's, uh, what we are going to do here, it's, we're going to play a timer observable. So we are going to create a counter. Instead of playing a video, we are going to play a, a, a timer. So we, can, we, we, we will be able to scrub through the time and all the stuff. OK, so first things first, what we need to do, we have a, an interface that it's called iPlayable. OK, you can just attach this thing, and, and this will tell you how many, how many methods and properties you need to create to have a proper, uh, a proper VG Media component or custom playable component. Um, I have some snippet here, which is this one. Just do not type a lot because I'm lazy. And basically, uh, this iPlayable, it's pretty similar to what you are going to see on a video element. You have the ID. Uh, you have the buffer, the complete through, metadata meta data loaded, and so on. I'm, I've added also uh, the duration, which is a property on the video. I found that as an input, because what we are going to do, it's on our app component, we're going to set here, um, instead of this, we are going to set this thing. And instead of a source, we're going to set a duration. So we can do this. I'm going to change these things to say that, for example, this is my time viewer, and this is a time viewer, a time reference, time reference, time reference. So as you can see, it's that easy to create uh, the component. Obviously, we need to add all the interactivity right now. OK, we, 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 uh, we need to, because if I compile this thing, uh, obviously we are going, well, actually it's failing, obviously because th th there is no code yet. So um, what we can do here, it's, let's just start by, um, uh, uh, let's just start by creating this. Um, first thing, what we need to do is to grab the ID on the element and put it on the on the on the um, on the component because this ID is going to be used by the API to have a reference on what on which element we need to 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 uh, target to do the targets. And now on the in it, what we are going to do is we are going to create our our uh, timer observable. This timer observable will be uh, executed every 10, 10 milliseconds. And then um, 
what we can do is uh, listen for the duration. And uh, this duration, what we are going to do is, OK, uh, I'm going to uh, receive a, a duration in seconds, and I'm going to tr transform it to, to milliseconds. And, uh, and then I'm going to set the buffer and so on to just to, num, uh, to, to tell the API that the component is uh, it's loaded. And then we can dispatch some, some, some events. And these events is, are the same events that uh, the, the video element is it's dispatching. Uh, so we are going to dispatch, hey, may, may loaded metadata, it's, uh, it's uh, loaded, the metadata is loaded, which is order duration, and we can actually start playing, and we can actually start playing with a waiting. Now, uh, oops, sorry about it. Um, let me check first this. Uh, I'm going to put some styles because we are not seeing anything. Let's put some from family, some serif, and uh, font size 100 px, and with 100% uh, display flex, and uh, justify content center align items uh, center and color white, for example. And what we are going to do, it's uh, on our time viewer component, instead of having these time viewer works, we are going to uh, put here a span. And inside this span, I will create this, uh, uh, I have the time dot total, dot not, dot not total, sorry, the current time. And I'm going to put this thing as a, as a date just to be formatted. Uh, 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 OK. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, it works. OK, so we have the, our template is done. We are not going to change anything on the template. We are just saying that. What we are going to do is with our time or observable, we are going to increment this time.current. And this is the styles which are already done. So basically, we, are, we will what we will do here is when you uh, click on play button, uh, if I put this these events, as you can see the, the 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 button switch from play to pause state, and that's because we are dispatching these these events. I can remove this thing. And you will see that if I click play, it doesn't does anything. OK. Um, I can do something similar for the pause state. And yeah, I can just, I, now I can play, and I can pause. Everything changes, but obviously, the timer observable is not, is not started. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to start our timer observable. So, I type it faster than this thing. OK. So we are going to start a timer observable. And inside this timer observable, uh, what we are going to do is to set the current time. Current time is a property of the video native element. And what we do on, the, uh, on, on this uh, timer observable is that we are going to uh, update our time.current value and set the seconds. And we are going to dispatch that the time update, it's, uh, that there, there has been a, a, a time update uh, event. Uh, it's going to be dispatched because the, the current time of the, of, the, um, of the player has changed. So I can play, and it works. The progress bar is progressing. Uh, that all the values of, of the current time and so on are calculated by um, where we, uh, how, the, how long the duration is. And I actually can even search and, 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 and move the, and seek on the screw bar. And this is done everything by the, the intermediate API that I explained at the beginning. So 
Right now, obviously, if I pause, because I'm not saying that, hey, I pause, uh, um, I'm not stopping the, the timer, but I'm going to pause. Uh, there is no pause seven, and then everything is going to crash, and we will cry. So what we are going to do here is I'm going to stop this timer observable. And if I hit play and I pause, it's paused. Um, but obviously, this, there is still something that it, it lacks. And if I go to the end, there is no complete event. We need to detect on our timer observable when this, this 50 second have, has reached the end uh, to stop the, the timer, to stop the, the the component, right? So we will add here. Oh no! Sorry about it. So we, what we are going to do here is, okay, I'm going to uh, just check the current time, and if, if the current time is bigger than the time total, that it's what we uh, set up here on the duration. Then I'm going to say that the current time is zero, and I'm going to dispatch an event that the video ended, and I'm going to unsubscribe from, from the timer observable. Let's do it. So yeah, it works. I can search, and it's paused until I release. OK, it works. And when I hit to the end, it should stop. Yeah, we did it. OK. So as you can see, this is a pretty lame example, I must, I must say. But uh, just uh, take in mind that we can, instead of doing a time observable, we can do Google Maps with a KLM timeline of events. Uh, any kind of timelines of events that you can just think about it, uh, it's historic events along the history of the humanity, uh, Twitter, uh, I mean, uh, image galleries even. I mean, any kind of things that you can think, OK, I want to play something that has a beginning and end. We can use this thing and reuse all the components that we have, which is pretty amazing. So now, uh, why we are doing well, it seems kind of complex. I mean, we have this media, the API, and so on. OK, that's why, because we can do very cool stuff if we combine several multiple VG medias on the same VG player. So the, the API is designed to super an arbitrary number of VG medias. Uh, all VG medias that are inside the VG player will automatically register on the API, based on the ID that you have inset on the uh, on the custom element or the uh, or your or the native element. And obviously, we can also programmatically register new VG medias via the API if we want. So what we, can, what we uh, have here, it's basically the same player, but we added the video and the time viewer on the same player. So, uh, and this is how you do the same thing, but programmatically through the API. So you just need to inject the, the API via the dependency injection system. And, and then just you execute the register media, which is your media component that you can create on the fly. So you can even have virtual timelines, for example. Um, so let's see how to use to BG Media. And this is going to be quick, I think, because I just need to go here. I will paste the player, and I need to do two things on the on the CS on the CSS part which is I'm going to say here that the width is going to be 50%. And I'm going to here, I'm going to say that the video element is going to be a 50% width too. So if I save this thing, we will have here a video player with the timer observable. And as you can see here, we will have both players, with the, the video player with the timer observable next to it, we can search on both of them Particular at the same time. But for um, and we can do all stuff like, for example, ideologies and economic I can just go here. Every hunter and forager. Sorry about it. Here. Just shut up, Carl Sagan. Uh, um, instead of having this duration here, what, what, what we can do is I can say, OK, I have this video reference, where, so I can do this kind of thing. So I'm going to set the, to the timer of survival the duration of the video. 
And then I can just go here, and I will see that the duration has not stopped on 50, but on the duration based on the of species. Okay. Again, this is this maybe same not a great example with a timer observable, but if you just think about it, to mix it with other cool stuff like slides or whatever you want. Okay, mm, fair enough. Um, but we have now a problem because, for example, in this video, the video it longs for one minute and 37 seconds, and what happens if we set the duration to 50 seconds manually instead of with the duration of the video? So, because we have an arbitrary number of VG media, some questions might appear. We can have actually some problems uh, of, of, of architecture there. So, what should the, the control while duration display if videos or medias have different length? Or, and the current time and the volume? If you change the volume on one item, what happens to the other video? Um, and what's the state of the video player if one video is playing and the other is paused? So, or buffering, for example. So here is when we introduced VG, VG Master and VG4. VG Master basically allows you to set up one of the, of the media elements as the, as the master, which means that he is going to control the states and the, 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 the events of all the other uh, media elements. And all actions that you execute on the API will be triggered to all, all VG medias. That means that when you hit on play button, you will play all the elements. But uh, if we want to play just one element, we can use VG4. And that's why we need the ID on the elements because this is similar to the API that we have on forms. If you remember on forms, you, you have the label, and you say this label for this uh, ID input. So we have something similar here. We have a, a, a control for this ID of the media element. Uh, and this basically allows us, for example, we have this player, and we can uh, mute a player uh, we, can, we can set the volume only for this video. So if we have several videos, we, will just, we can just uh, uh, stop one video and not the other and so on. So uh, now I want to show you the VG Master and VG4 um, uh, demo. But first I want to explain to you a story about love, fear, sorrow, joy, and football. And by football, I mean football. Because this is a foot, and this is a ball, and this is a hand, and this is a ball, and this is a hand, and that's a melon. <laughs> okay, football. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Europeans, you know. Um, I have another demo prepared for this thing, which is going to be. Uh, Maybe not that complex, but you will see the power of what I mean. So just let me open it. Okay, I can do this thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, yep. Oh, hello. Uh, no, it's not this one. Sorry about it. I just yep. This one. So basically, um, surprise, surprise! Big football fan. I'm big. I'm from Barcelona, so I'm fan of football club Barcelona. And uh, a few weeks ago. We, we uh, played against uh, Paris Saint-Germain, uh, Champions League uh, uh, semi, uh, uh, quarter, something like that, quarters classification. And the thing is that um, we, we lost 4-0 on Paris Saint-Germain uh, field. And it, uh, and it was so, so terrible. I was, uh, you know, crying in my bed. Uh, my girlfriend just, you know, uh, there, there, it's, it just will go, you know. And then um, uh, 
uh, we read on the newspapers and so on during, during three weeks. Uh, no one ever, uh, be, uh, you know, um, be, uh, have been uh, recovered from uh, a four-zero against. And then this happens. Yeah, we, the greatest knockout uh, overtake of all time in history of the football. So it was like, I was crazy, I just cried a lot, but from joy now, you know, it was, okay. So when, uh, so I decided, okay, and now I have the opportunity to talk on it, then she comes, so uh, I'm going to prepare a demo with this thing. <laughs> because, you know, I can, so sorry about it, but this is what it is. Um, well, so let's start this thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed the story, by the way. <laughs> uh. And this is what we have now. This is basically the player. Turn it on. Okay, fair enough. Works well, as always. And now we can just. Um, I want to make it something special, you know, because this, this thing just like, it, it deserves to have something memorable. Okay, and then I prepare, I, I, I just started looking on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that maybe I can find some videos of the, the, the fans on the stadium recorded, with, that they recorded this, this goal. So I found a few ones. Um, like this, pretty, pretty cool uh, goals and recorded there. So I, I cut it out and I thought, okay, I can just maybe synchronize the videos and watch the same goal from different cameras on the same, on the same video. Okay, so um, basically what I'm doing, it's, uh, I'm cre I created a picture-in-picture -picture plugin. Do you know what it's the picture-in-picture? -picture? You have the video and you have a small video over the other video. So that's what I'm we are going to do. It's going to be very quickly, you will see. <clears throat> I have here, um, I have here the, the, um, a component, which is basically this, this, this component here. Um, I have the selected camera and an, uh, an array of cameras, which all the goals. Um, what we are going to do, it's, uh, well, first things first, I'm going to add here this, um, the, the PIP component. And the PIP component, it's what, I, what, what we are going to create right now, and this is how I want to make it work. I will set a source, a video source to this picture-in-picture, picture, and when I click over the picture-in-picture, the picture, I will close it. And basically, I will make the selected camera, it's going to be null again, and the picture-in-picture the, the picture will be closed because we have an NGF. So pretty basic stuff. And and the picture in picture, uh, this is going to be, well, we basically need this, these two inputs. Well, the, the, the input and the output. So the input, the input is going to be a source string, which is going to be the URL of the video. And the output will be an evenometer saying, hey, the, the video is closed. So when I click on the video, I want to close it. So basically, on click the camera, I will close uh, and, ever, and, uh, and yeah, an output will be, and an even meter will be dispatched, and, and that's it. Uh, so, here, very easily, what we should do is to add a video. I'm going to set the place in line, the cross-origin cross attributes, just to make it work also on mobile devices. And when I click on this video, I'm going to close it. And the, this is the reference, and the source will be given that by the source that I, I received on the input. And that's it. I have an SLA video ID for, to, to, to have a proper re registration on the API. And yeah, let's see this thing. Maybe it's not going to work yet because uh, obviously we have no, no, no selected camera yet. Okay, we are going to, yeah, we're going to create all the cameras here. 
which is it's a, an array of the cameras. So I can click here and so the cameras, obviously now is failing. We will fix it, don't worry. Uh, I need to create this uh, select camera. Okay, when I click on the camera, uh, basically what I'm going to do is to set that selected camera at the source, it's going to be the source. So it's, this selected camera is going to be this string or this is other string or whatever. Okay. So if I click here, yeah, it kind of works. But uh, as you can see, I click here, the video appear, appears here. Yeah. So what we are going to do is that uh, on our, oh yeah, as you can see here, they are synchronized actually. So what we are doing is uh, because I set here BG Master true, the videos are synchronized. And this, this video is going to tell to the other video, hey, you need to stop because I'm, I'm the boss here. So when you click play, the first video will play, the second video will play, and if the second video is not on the same exact second, even millisecond, uh, then uh, the master player are going to say, hey, you need to stop, just do all the buffering and all your stuff, uh, just wait for it, just do a seek, put all together on the same time, and then do a play. This is all done uh, with observables. Uh, we have some customer observables to do all this stuff because it's pretty complex. Um, but it, it works quite well. So um, let's take a look to the demo. We can just do the stops, synchronize us. Let's give it a second. Yeah, people crazy. We can seek it. Yeah, people get crazy, completely crazy, yeah? Okay. Um, so this is, this, is, this is awesome because it is, it's, you look, some information on the internet, how can I synchronize two videos? People get mad, completely mad. It, it is really hard to do this thing, but thanks to the power of Angular and obviously the observables, we can do super cool stuff and it's super easy. You just do, don't need to do anything. It's out of the box. Video provides all these things for you. So um, what we are going to do now, it's um, because maybe, you know, all the two audios maybe are uh, kind of too much, right? So uh, what we are going to do, it's uh, one of the cool things is that you can actually use the same controls that you use on other places, you can use it on your components. Why not, right? So we are, what we are going to do is this mute button, button, that we have also this mute button here. Is this mute button? We are going to put a mute button here. And what we are going to say, it's okay, but this mute button will affect only this slide video. Instead of muting all the videos, you will just interact with this particular media. So we can just save. I think that maybe it will not be appear, appearing now. Yeah, here it is, okay. Fair enough, I can just click it, yeah. Let's see, okay, and if I click on the camera, yeah, it closes. So this is how you, if you have pretty complex uh, stuff, well, by the way, uh, I think that there is something wrong because I'm not saying, saying here that this mute is muting both audios. So I need to say here that this will affect only the master video. And the same for this other component. So this, this input property, this BG4, you have it for all the components, for all the controls has, has this, this, this BG4 property. So you can apply on, on the play pause, on the screw bar, whatever. You can just apply it where, whatever you want. And now we can just, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, there is one that it's pretty crazy though. I think that, just let me check, no, not this one. Yeah, this one, there is some, some random dude just saying, this is incredible. This is incredible. Yeah, that, that, that guy. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know man, I know the feeling, okay. So, um, let's go back to the slides. Uh, so yeah, uh, some links. Um, 
official website, videolar.com, all the information that you are going to see there, it's old and it's based in videolar one. So you probably want to know, hey, where can I see uh, the, the um, docs for videolar two? Well, the thing is that there are not many docs and the thing is that we are working on it. We have some, some docs on the, on the, on, 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 yeah, here. So here we have some docs. Um, it's uh, just getting a start. I think that it's probably fine if you want to, if you want to start, but otherwise you can just uh, drop me an email or whatever, a tweet, um, issue. Uh, please don't open issues saying that if I can change the name of the project, I'm not going to do it. But uh, but if you have, if you need any help or whatever, just ping me, okay? And uh, there is there is a lot of information about how everything works, but not about the all the input I and mean, all the properties that have all the all the components and so on. But you can just check the components for now. We are working on it. Uh, luckily, I've been sponsored by Toptal, so I'm going to work part-time on this project now. And, um, and then uh, I, I, I think that you can probably expect a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, uh, documentation soon, hopefully. I'm going to start this month, and um, probably I think that, I don't know, by the end of May or something like that, we will have a new website with lots of information, uh, examples, and so on. So you have here both repos, this is the custom element demo. It's, uh, it's the timer observable. The picture-in-picture -picture demo is this one that you have seen. This here is the GitHub project, and we have also this, this showroom, which is pretty cool, and you, 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 can, you have basically uh, what, all the things that we can do with VideoGular. We have, for example, um, interactive media apps with uh, Google Ima. We have uh, a cue point system that is uh, pre-advanced that allows you to, uh, to show and hide content based, based on events. Uh, we have, uh, well, multiple players. This, you can control the player from outside. Yeah, we have super for Dash and HLS uh, and, well, a lot of stuff. Just give it a look. I think that it's uh, pretty interesting. And uh, that's it. Thank you. If you have any any question, just reach me now or over there. Grab me, invite me a beer. I'm totally fine with that. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.